to, to the drawing table, worked his way out, and you know, coming back, this it, it, it's just crazy, spectacular, it's just a one round and just a knockout. Boom. It, 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 and Tansy Fury is not a joke. Currently, he's not a joke. So, you know, be fight away. He be that aba. Oh, leave Anthony Joshua. Where them beat him? Leave because Joshua. yes, I'm, I'm it, asking you, who are you going to bet on? Now? Doesn't make sense. They but we all know the whole world. We all know that this player is better than this player. But what? what For that season, that that season, that player was better than. So what? Welcome to another edition of VR Sports Extra. Hope so everybody they cool. You know, say when we sit like this. It be now where they come do surgery into your favorite sports program, your favorite sports show, your trending sports news, and everything concerning sports. Stay tuned, don't go nowhere, I'll be right back. Welcome back from the break. Like I told you before my break, I have today with me some very great footballing minds where they, they can help we make we break down and we digest the, the events we have for today. Make a no rush, make I just introduce them for you. Bra Chado. My brother, thank you very much for coming. It's a pleasure to have you here. A day here for you. Mr. Nat. Yeah, big man. Once again with me. Yeah, Charlie. How you gonna do my Today man? I won't make you educate my people for me because a agenda boys can I did tell you. <laughs> so there's a whole lot of trendy issues where if we not talk about them, nobody else will talk about them. Exactly. That's why we did here today, you understand. So make a jump straight into my news for today. Romano on Twitter then he share him say Shaka Sack the my manager, uh, Frank Kramer. Where you know really go down well with some of the supporters because you know say it be German. You understand where this be German club with it. Where it be, it be coach where he really not get experience like that by be experienced coach. When I talk say no get experience like that, you know they mean say you don't know what you do. You understand, but just say things don't really go well. In last five matches, you only get one win. Where the rest of the matches they lose some four one five three. Charlie the results be abysmal. You understand where I know they I know they think say anybody go invest in money into any club go there they make new season start. I mean after this. Transfers and all that to see some kind of money you spend for transfer inside. Then the season will start. Then the sack. And Barry Chado, what what be your take on this sack? Um, if you if you, you could remember last season, they nearly go relegation. Yeah, yeah. They they it, it left small like they go relegation. That be true. So it means like this year they invest very very powerful investment. They put money for this team inside, which is Shakaofo. So imagine say we put money where we want our team make it perform well. Then see the kind of performance they they get. Ah, if it be me, I go sack my coach. I go sack him fast. Because, I go, uh. because Charlie, he left more than the maybe the half of the season go end. Where where you did you no, know, you know be advised. I would say maybe you go. They depend on the second round make it take perform. No, I'm not sure. So I think maybe sacking him is very, very, very good idea. But you know something? I feel say Shaka them lost the plot because then first day they depend on academy. Yeah. So I don't know why all of a sudden I stand to be corrected. But I mean I feel say after Manuel Noya left there go buy him, they're not really produce any great football in mind. You understand? They 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 have been some players that have come through the academy, but then now the main focus be buying, 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 you, buying. You know, say may if Coaches they come and they, they bring them my own philosophy. Yes, it makes sense. So maybe the other coach, you know, in people will take come with and come perform. You no, know. maybe then the, the my the, own be say they they, they they train academy more than focusing on the team. Yeah, but this man, it maybe in people will take come, you no, know, they they focus on the the league more than de developing academy. the academy. Yeah, so that one could be the problem. I, yeah, well, I think Shaka we know is not Shaka we are seeing now. Yeah. Because over the years, Shaka was dominating. Like first three, first four, first five, Shaka is in there doing some magic. And you know, football has changed. There's more money into the game and probably you need to buy more players. Exactly. So and if the players are not performing, sometimes we look we need to look at the philosophy. And also getting an experienced coach has an influence on the team directly and indirectly and you see them performing abysmal has to do with their coaching 
because I feel say they have bought the players. Yes. They they have what it takes, mm -hmm. and the coach is not performing. So bringing in more experienced coach would would actually influence their game. But I also feel say it it it, it will also be based on their mentality because you see if you are on a losing streak, automatically there there is no zeal for you to perform. So I think if the new coach come in, it, he, he or she, or probably it's a he, so he has to work on the mentality of the players mm -hmm. and he, he also has have to have a philosophy that would sync with the Shaka team. If not, the new coach might, 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 might even perform worse than he is this performing. Yeah. But if psychologically the, the players are, 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 are have, like, you know, they have that mentality, it's going to help and see, you know, being you, you know we, within the bottom is not what we know shaka for but i feel say with time if, if they're able to you know put things in and you know in place and also you see getting experienced players is expensive but looking at maybe they don't have the financial capacity so i i, I, I would feel if they could go back to their former philosophy of course because they produce players like uh, uh, Mesut Ozil. Exactly. Jens Lehmann. The great Jens Lehmann. Exactly. So why would you shift from uh, uh, an academy that was producing great talent? Exactly. So I, I think, um, and we, we, we all know, um, we, uh, this, um, Ayas. We all know Ayas. Of course. You know, for, you know, grooming talent, you know, dominating and they sell. But I feel they can, they can use that same philosophy to actually grow themselves because, see, buying players is expensive. Expensive, especially it, in this kind of transfer window. Exactly. So I feel if they should focus more on, you know, getting the, the players to, to, to actually adopt their philosophy, it will help them grow and also, you know, come a bit further and maybe win the league in, in, in maybe a year or two ahead. So it, it should be a long-term plan because if they say they want to, they want a quick result sometimes it becomes very difficult yes but if yes. they have like a long-term plan like maybe okay in the next three years let's build a team yeah. to, to to get into this height it will go a long way in helping boost their their financial prowess and also you the see team. i wouldn't blame them that much uh, i i feel i feel that this be the angle way most of the teams are taking now in europe well instead of building their buying. yes so if it's because it's because there are a lot of sponsors who are putting more, more money. You money. understand? They don't want results. results so quick, quick, quick results. So it not be the team in fault. It be the shareholders where they disturb the team. But I, I also feel, sir, if the team is producing results, that is when people, it will look more yes, attractive. Yes, exactly. as I say. Yes. So I feel, sir, you see, and there are certain teams where it is homegrown. It is the city and it is the people involved that pushes the team. But yeah, so I feel uh, moving forward, moving forward, because the Shaka, we, we, we know our, our own brother, uh, Kelvin Prince, Prince Watson, Watson, exactly. you know, had his, his moment in Shaka 04. And some of us love Shaka 04 because of Kelvin Prince Boati. And he had great moments. So what is happening? So you can see there have been a shift in philosophy. If they could maintain their philosophy, if they could maintain their, 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 their original stance, I think things would work. And maybe the coach they, they, they intend bringing they should also give them time time it, it, it's expensive i feel if you want something great to be done you should you know you should give your your your, your coach time for for him or for, for him to build that kind of adaptation how they, they will relate in, in in the field of play you know, and i think it will help you know most of the clubs now everyone have money well to spend they don't they don't even they don't now depend on Charlie. Let me give you two, four years to develop. I mean, they are, they are no. just say sales sponsorship. Yeah. Now now even the Jesse, they don't have space for sponsorship. So yeah. They've come, they've come to the yes. Jesse. Yes. Yes. You understand? So yeah, everybody they invest here, you go quick but, cash. But, but you see, eh, you see. Let's look at Bayern Munich. Okay. Bayern Munich has a philosophy. We they buy we buy from the smaller clubs, clubs in, in Germany and and you know we build because uh, this midfielder uh, uh, Leon Gretzka then buy him from Schalke, Schalke the same way exactly what you are saying and you know you see every, every team we know Barcelona has their style of play we know other teams have their style of play but I feel you know sometimes when when you want to look at results you may end up wasting your case exactly 
Exactly. When once we look at results, okay, I want to produce results, you may end up wasting your case. But let's go back to the drawing board. Let's start from the scratch. Let's build. Ayas has done it. Ayas yeah, has and, done it. And they are still doing it. Exactly. So it means it is not difficult for you to do. But if you, you, you say you want to buy, sometimes you may not have the, the finances to afford That's them. why I'm saying that. Mm. The board members and the investors who are buying shares at the club mm -hmm. are the people who are bringing down the club. That, that makes sense. So I do hope say the Shaka will fall, but go take note of this one of discussions. Okay, on some good news for women football. Bleacher Report, the report say Women Champions League is coming to FIFA 23 in early 2023. 23. So this be good news for women football and people where they, they follow the women game. I feel say it be step in the right direction because now if you watch the women, the Euros and things, it draw massive, massive, massive crowd. Yeah, bro, I know, I know, I know, be gamer, but since. Charlie, I see say women they can't say that I will start the play because Th I that's good news for women football. I so, will start the watch. So, Mr. Nat, one minute, make a know your opinion. Yeah, on this. so I, I feel you know, we, we've always advocated women's inclusion, especially you know, previously their pay were very less, exactly. But we, we, we you know, I think they are, they are trying to raise the pay for, for, for them to also have equal pay as the men. So, if they are actually including women's league or women's football into FIFA. It will boost the, the, the women's league and it also creates more opportunity for women. And also, you know, African women are doing so well. Exactly. But I, was, I was about mentioning that. Exactly. See, the, see the CAF uh, 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 Champions League mm -hmm. women football between the, Azakes, the, the Mamelodi Sun, and the women. They, they yeah. are including it to the game. Yes, game, yeah. 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 Yeah, so it will give them more exposure. Exactly. And it, it also creates more platforms because, you see, Men, men football has dominated for so long since time immemorial but i think women are, are also you know picking up and with time they will they, they have the dominance and do have in the confidence the men are having and i think it's going to move more further as compared to maybe the previous years here okay right Charlie, one minute ah uh, as my brother said it will help and at the same time maybe uh it, it will make the gamers more like like let me say something okay let me say something here they are gamers and they are gamers yeah okay someone can pick this women's, women's class team yeah and then play with the men's team men's team mm -hmm. and he will win yeah. it makes a lot of sense and yes uh, let me say this as a there are gamers who are ladies but mm -hmm. they can't they can't come out because there are no female, 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 female. Yeah. Yeah, yeah female yeah. players so this is the opportunity. Yeah, you see them. You I, 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 I share that fact to you. It's true. Because I've played uh, this FIFA game with a lot of ladies. Uh -huh. yeah, I've been in some of these competitions yes, yes. and there were ladies yeah. who, who were exceptionally good. But me, I feel, say, like you mentioned earlier, if some of these are local clubs, can also make their way. Into the, it would really, really help. Or maybe may give, them, give them like 25 years time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so on to our next news then. So from there, then I think you probably go Deontay Wilder. Yeah. Over the weekend, then Robert Elinos feel in power. Yeah. You know, say then we do a with the talk, say Wilder be some fighter way. If you arm the fight, before they expect that bomb squad punch. Yeah. Well, this fight, what it shocked me about this fight, they say. You know, the whole story behind the fight, they say. He say then he did try do some retirement or go some kind of sab sabbatical, I'll make it just relax. But in hometown people follow up, then give him some statue. So during the, the, the combination of the statue where you go there, you see the story, so no. If you say, you go to do more for him people, yeah. that'd be what it bring them back That's into cool. the ring. So th this, this fight, then it'd be, it be highly anticipated, say, they go watch in performance, especially after the way Tyson Fury disciplined him in the last two previous fights. They, they feel, say, no, he's done, he's washed out. To come back to a, a spectacular one-round knockout, I think he has to be celebrated. Because the guy in arm fights too. Robert Hillenus, you know, you know be joke guy like that. If you watch in physique then in stature, it, I mean if you watch in records too, when you buy Rabri Wajo. Oh, when was understand? the last time Robert fight? I think he fought somewhere uh, last year. Last year. Last year. Yeah. So you know be fighter way, it be it be, it be joke fighter. Yeah. You understand? If somebody way he they, he they in, in game two day high like that. Because um, Dante Wilder, well we know, wouldn't fight just anybody. Of course. And for, 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 for the person to even accept the fight, it tells, it tells you the person is also well prepared. 
And you know, people start losing faith in him when he lost back to back. Of course. And Tyson Fury is not a joke. Currently, he's not a joke. By him losing to Tyson, you know, back to back, you know, it, it, it makes it look as if he has lost Everything. his game. Of course. You get it. But coming back harder tells, you know, tells us something that, you know, he, like, you know, you see, time and more training and, you know, the mentality, you know, you prepare into a game gives you some edge. And this is a result of, you know, pe- like more, 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 more preparedness. You see, be- before losing to Ty- Tyson, he was, he, he, he brags a lot. We all know who he is. And he had always wanted to fight Anthony Joshua. But Tyson Fury, you know, silenced him. And, you know, he, 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 he went back to, to the drawing table, worked his way out. And, you know, coming back, this is it, it, just crazy. Spectacular. Massive. Just a one round and just a knockout. Boom. It, 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 it's crazy. But I feel, you know, boxing is, is very dicey. You might think you are you are prepared, but your opponents might, might surprise you. So I'm I'm also I'm, I'm personally I'm looking forward to his next game, of which is big. But I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to his next game and see if he can dominate as he did with this game. Oh, Richard, what what be your take on this knockout? Do you, 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 are they you feel say the fight should have traveled the mile because of complacency. Because me personally, that be what they can't yes. talk about. Like. And they feel say complacency will step in. Yeah. Though he's a professional, yeah. take nothing away from him. He's a professional. But then I, I, I am of the opinion that uh, 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 complacency will come inside and feel say, oh, yes, yes. me the thing self way. I say I retire self. As I come back self, one round, one and somebody chop. Yeah, he won't prove the word say he's still, he, he's still okay. Because you know why? Don't tell why that no be small fight away. This fight, no, but me say I know, I know, I know watch, I know how to change because I do love boxing. Trust me, I do love boxing. But this much, I know here. I do fully don't do what I know here. So you feel say this match be fixed match? No, be fixed match. But they touch it like they for make the guy feel like if they can't fight because you feel the hype, the hype and things we take from uh, Tazi Fury, yeah. uh, take from him. You know, so be, you feel say this be mismatch. Uh, this ma- but you know what you know what they they join me uh, you know what they make me happy because this fight go make the no say he's still there exactly this fight go make the no say he's still there where whoever will come you go chop this guy this okay dog, so hold on, hold on, hold on. before we move on make a put robert Lenos in record out there okay. so robert he have a total of 35 fights right. 31 wins that is for four 30, uh, 20 by way of knockouts. Knockout. Four losses. So, just four losses. So, you know, be fight away, it be that about. You see, don't tell Wada to be some fighter away. He, he be very strong guy. In punches be, are very strong, but he left experience. Well, I was right now, we, we can't get, he can't get good coach. I hope maybe they will show how he go money then draw some bullets and things because how they fight, you know? Anytime you go see, say, don't you they fight, you won't knock out. So, don't you wonder, this be into a record. You have 46 total fights, 43 wins, 42 by way of knockout. That's why, that why they call them Bros Bomber. No? Two losses, and we all know no, who no, the two losses are. And, like and one draw. Yes. You understand? Yes. So, 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 for me, I would say, say he's not, com- like, I would say, say he, like, he's not a joke. But sometimes complacency made him lose that Tyson Fury's match because because of the record he holds. Because of the record he holds. Okay, so quick one now. Brian Ricardo, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. What are you going for? Oh, still. Fury. Mm. Fury. Okay. So. Fury, Fury, Fury. Because the guy Charlie. It'd be understandable. It'd be understandable. Make <laughs> I take you go my next news then. So Deontay Wilder versus Andrew Ruiz will be officially ordered at the WBC convention next month as a final eliminator to determine Tyson Fury's next mandatory challenger. WBC President Mauricio Suleiman has confirmed. So this will be how it will go. The one between Andy Ruiz and Jota Wilder. You say Andy Ruiz is being beat 
uh, Anthony Joshua, Joshua where the rematch and Joshua can win again. Yeah. But then because of the Alexander Osik beat your man twice, five, yeah. he make in chances make limited. So then they, they expect say Deontay Wilder will fight Andrew Ruiz because recently Andrew Ruiz he beat Luis Ortiz. Yeah. So then now it being be mandatory challenger for Deontay Wilder. What be your take on that one too? Uh, it, it all depends on the agreement and then contracts. Mm -hmm. But trust me, if this guy go don't tell why that. I show you two rounds. I have I, I have mean, I have some small see, I have some small coins be for my account. Is that I go bet. That be the same thing. Anthony Joshua and oh leave Anthony Joshua where they beat him. Leave because Anthony Joshua. Uh, 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 Andrew Ruiz, he no be joke fighter. Yes, but and make and make the physique no and deceive you. you. Yeah, you understand, bro, bro, bro. I say I get some coins before there. Okay. I'm far come for there. Uh, it be I go take chop the Christmas because of these two. Well, that's one month's opinion. Brother, <laughs> what will you take chop? Ah, well, 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 I, I feel uh, um, if don't you whether whether want to prove to the world that he is back. This is the match, you know, he has to win. It is a must win for him. And I feel Andy Ruiz is not a, a, a joke. Of course. He, 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 he is not a joke. So if Dante Wada wants to prove to the world that he, he is... He, 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 this he, is the guy who knocked out Anthony Joshua. Anthony. Who are you going to bet on? Personally, personally, I, I would... I, I would go for Wada. Is he? Okay. Bro, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Who are you going to bet no, on? No, no, no. I, I'm going for... Um, 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 Dante Wada. Dante Wada because... You're a fan. I want him to prove to the world that he, he it, is it wasn't no, 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 the no, defeat no, no. against yes, Tyson Fury wasn't yes. a fluke. Yes. I'm, I'm it, asking you, who are you going to bet on? It's not about who are you going to support. Or who are you going to bet on? Because you are using money to bet me, on. Me, I don't do bet. And so, okay, I don't so have that. Where, 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 where could we go when the next is inside? Deontay Wada wants to fight Anthony Joshua in Africa. Both of them are of Nigerian descent. He said, we, we, we both have roots from there. I think it would be an amazing place to have it to go back home. So this be what Anthony Joshua they talk. Even though a mandatory challenger now from the WBC be Andy Ruiz, in the few say he go like fight Anthony, Anthony Joshua. Joshua. But for it be very funny say all these boxers they call out Anthony Joshua because me I feel say Tyson Fury be the person you pull for call. call yeah. Because if he get the titles, <laughs> if anything at all, Alexander Usyk be be the best person for this fight, the Ukrainian. Yeah. Because currently, into gets some titles. Yeah. So I feel say that be the angle way everybody for the goal. But then, everybody, they avoid Tyson Fury. If you said that they fear him, or some kind of fear factor there around no, 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 him. No, 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 no. It's not about fear. You see, uh, Anthony Joshua have the name already. And he has a fan. When you, when you bet on Anthony Joshua, I swear to you, these, these two, when, when, they come, when, when it comes to fighting, Okay, when they, 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 they draw contract and everything that they want to fight, Charlie, you know the money will come out of this fight. You just compared to the other fighter. You understand me? Com they are not concentrating on the belt, though. They are focusing on the money that will come out of the fight. Because Anthony Joshua have the name. Don't tell why they have the name. So when you check, it can be 50 50. These people can make about. 300 million, 300 million each. And you are going for less. Uh, what so what would you get? <laughs> what be your opinion? No, 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 no. They are not going for bet. They are going for the money. Yeah. Personally, I think I would agree with him because if any of them should fight Tyson Fury, Tyson has a upper hand on, on both of them. You get it. But I feel with Dante Weather and Anthony George, it's a 50 50 game. You okay, because know, may, I know they catch you. Make, 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 them, make, them, make them clear because the other time. Tyson Fury call out Anthony Joshua. Joshua. He offered a 60-40. Yeah, it's yes. your contract. He offered a 60-40, which at the end, then the management of Anthony Joshua then pass. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So as it stands now, your man to call out another yeah, fighter. fighter. So we will talk about that one later too. Yeah. Proceed. Yeah, so I feel, you know, this one, it, 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 it will be the worth the game because money would, would, would be spent. Yeah. And, and moreover, you know, it, bringing the man to Africa would... would, would, would make the, the bout even more bigger and people will be expecting more in returns so they are looking at the money factor and personally you know it's a 50 50 thing you may not know who is going to win because if let me say tyson fury is, is supposed to uh, fight let me say don't wear that automatically Ty tyson had been very spectacular in the, in, in the last two years well anthony joshua has had had his 
you know, off, you know, in the last two years. Okay. And Dante Weather has also had his, you know, elapses in the last two years. So if both of them are to, both of them are killer fighters. So if both of them should face each other, it's going to make the match more, more big, like more big. And, you know, people will be expecting because both of them are great boxers. You may not know whom would win. And, and you, you know what, you know what, one, one thing, these two, when they fight and one wins, then the other career ends. ends. Oh yeah, so, of course. Your so career is yes, on the line. Yes, so exactly. it means exactly. that they are already they, yeah, they are concentrating on the money. Yeah. Even if my career ends, you should take have a, something a, a, in a, bank. A, a pay home. Yes, have something in bank. So you think? Don't you think the the monetary aspect will take the beauty away from the game? Yeah, that's what is going on. Even the football. Personally, personally, I would say no. Because both of them are great fighters. Okay, so so they, they're, so, they're going to serve as. Uh, okay, okay. What, 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 what we will expect. And they are not fighting because of belt. Trust me. Exactly. These okay. Two, when, they, they, when they meet, it's not about the belt. But they, they also want to prove to themselves because both of them are like. And, and not Anthony Joshua. They, they, and not, they, they not have Anthony no belt. So there will yeah. be nothing to fight yeah. for. But it will just be pride and dignity. Yeah, exactly. Because, because see, Anthony, like you know, had had his downs. Dante Weather has also had his downs. So. You know, and we, we, we cannot raise them all in one basket. Yes, yes. But so this will prove, okay, I'm better than you. And we, we, we all know their history. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. on to that same boxing news, our, our next story, uh, we get Tyson Fury versus Derek Chisora disembattered. Yeah. So this was supposed to be Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua. Like I mentioned earlier, the 60-40 agreement, yeah. where, you know, really go down well with Anthony Joshua in camp. Did they expect a 50-50? But then... It, it, it would be a fool's paradise to think you can fight an, uh, Tyson, Tyson Fury, Fury on a 50-50 basis. It's you have no belt. Yes. You are just coming back from a defeat. defeat. And you want 50-50. Yes. No management. I mean, I, I, I was telling uh, uh, some, some people in my, in, my, in, my, in, my, in my corner that Tyson Fury was actually doing Anthony Joshua a favor. Yeah. To, to, to give him that kind of... Yes, because the hype is gone. Yeah, come through. Yes. Good, good. When... when, when Tyson, uh, what do you call it? Anthony Joshua is running away from Tyson Fury. No, it's, it's not about the 50-40, 60-40, no. When you fight Tyson Fury right now, okay, your career is gone. Oh, I'm very sure because he had had a couple of defeats. Uh, the defeat you had was low-key fighters. And you are going to fight Tyson Fury who conquer everyone. And you are going for 60 40. 60 40 is okay, but he's thinking about his future. So after this fight, what else? Yes. Nobody will watch you. And nobody will want to fight you. Because then it means you need to fight smaller. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, you have to start from uh, scratch again. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. So, so, so probably you need to fight Dante Weather. If he, any of them will. To prove, to prove that he's back. Yes. To, and if any of them so will, the two have to prove themselves that they are back. Unless draw. Yes. Then we all know that they are better. Then we all know that they are better. Yeah. But when one lose, that's the end of their career. But I feel say like if if that be the case, like Alexander Usyk be the best man for the fight because in two he be undefeated. Exactly. He has beaten all the top guys in the heavyweight division. He be undefeated. They will but, 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 but underrated. The, like the hype around him is. But me too. I feel say in two he ran away from the Tyson Fury fight because. But, 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 but now who wants to fight Tyson Fury? The excuse he give be say. Okay, so this will be the excuse in the talk. He said, over the past two years, he's been away from home to camp. But you say, he and the Anthony Joshua fight back-to-back -back fights. Yeah. So he's been away f uh, uh, to camp, where he no see the family. So then he didn't plan since. I mean, this fight was happening on the third. So if you are mentioning, say, you have Christmas plans to spend with your family, after the third, you can go home and spend Christmas with your family. So me, I'm of the opinion that he doesn't want to spend Christmas in the hospital. If I am him, who knows? Who knows? If, if I am him, uh, I'll go and spend the Christmas and say goodbye to my family. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, personally, who, who the hell would want to fight Fury? That's what I said. I will, I will go and say who. Currently, <laughs> like, can, can we, like, 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 Fury is the like, it's like a beast. Like, I don't, I and, don't know. And I did see some pictures of him yesterday evening. Man, man, the guy is trimmed. He's ripped. He, they develop six packs now. So you, so you have to look him up now. That's in theory they develop six packs. So you could see. What's how the body they and they tell you today say the guy they develop six packs. It's crazy. So which means that the guy they inform 
Yeah. Are they worry for the Chisora? Pa? Oh, are they worry? This are they, be, be. are they really worry for him? Be, but be. take take nothing away from Chisora too. Into has a point to prove. Be. Let's be honest, Dante Wada. Uh, if he get good coach, uh, no Portugal fish turner, no doing transfer. Trust me, Dante Wada. You see, that be where they're people, good coach. People, people don't really they give credit to Tyson Fury. Say Tyson Fury, your father be boxer, your grandfather be boxer, your great grand. If they come from long, mm-hmm. if they come from long list of generational boxes, so people just they watch the guy. I, I have to be very plain here. They watch in body structure and say this guy ah this white guy go he beat this black. No 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 no. You see, the guy has been groomed. And 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 you so you know he 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 came from depression. He came from. He had his own mess, yes. You know, so he he's proving to himself, said no, I'm not doing this again. Nothing will bring me I'm, down. I'm, I'm focused, and his his focus is what is getting him to to to, uh, to where he is now. And I'm not too sure he'd want to go back. Listen, listen to my next news. Real Madrid won Champions League, La Liga, UEFA Super Cup, and Spanish Super Cup, and they were voted the third best club <laughs> behind Man City and Liverpool. So in that order. Over the over the weekend, then the Ballon d'Or go on, yeah. the ceremony go on. Yeah. We then give Man City the best club. I won't say in Europe. I would say in the world. Yeah. Man City are the best club now in the world. Second, be Liverpool. The third best club were actually the Champions League winners, Real Madrid. And it sparked a whole lot of debate and some kind of talks online. Brother Chado, two minutes. Figure uh, uh what you could do in your previous matches where they will take reward you in the next the year. year okay so what man city do that be the, that be the, that be the question on everybody's mind listen. everybody they ask me the same question so the year under review what listen, man city do listen right now they, they were they were semi-finalists yeah right now then for do then for the the then for do the voting as 10 percent make it be 10 percent then the rest will be the board could decide. You know, and with the ballon, no, the board has no say. It is the, uh, you know... Club captains. The club captains, the journalists, and it is their opinion. So, in a nutshell, then we have a safe to say that the journalists don't like Real Madrid. Maybe, just maybe. It, it could be said maybe because of their dominance in Europe. Maybe. They are starting to piss people off. Exactly. Oh, exactly. every day, why Real Madrid? Every day, why Real Madrid? And, 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 and uh, when, when you look at it, it doesn't make sense. Wherever you go and you discuss this thing with someone, it doesn't make sense. Someone who has won the league, Champions League, every Super league, Cup, every Spanish league that Super you Cup. in the final. Last year, if you bring Congo, you say, if you bring Congo, you cup, you milk, okay. milk, say, from Madrid, go win Yeah, so I, I, but I feel you know it's you know it's based on opinions. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know what these people feel is what they had voted, and sometimes you know in football things wouldn't go your way. There had been a lot of controversies, especially with Ballon d'Or. The year Lewandowski was supposed to win, you know, it was held like in the, it was cancelled because of COVID. When Messi won his controversial, you know, Ballon d'Or, you know, it, Ballon d'Or is full of controversies. But I feel um, it moves beyond maybe what we see and what we think. But I feel moving forward, um, Real Madrid probably deserves it. But I think Man City also deserves it because they, their players had. You know, the, um, you know, their, their players, were, when we look at the, the best thing, majority of their players yes, dominated. We're, we're in there. I think they had about five players. Exactly. In the, in the but they rewarded the, the players. No, but, but, but let's look at their dominance, like yeah. the players in the, in, in, in the first ten. You could see, say, their players were more dominating. So it means they are doing something right. Okay. Let, let, let's, look at, let, let's look at from that perspective. And also, the club captains, the journalists also have their opinions. Okay, so uh, so on that note, on to more controversial Ballon d'Or news. Make, listen to this. In my opinion, Jamal Musiala and Jude Bellingham have had better season than the winner. From my point of view, the two are ahead of Gavi. So, the year before, it be Pedri Winam yeah. from Barcelona. And this year, Gavi also from Barcelona Winam. So, don't you think the Ballon d'Or is flawed? Richardo. <laughs> with, with this kind of controversies coming before and after if, the ceremony. If we had a terrorist, the voting would be too much. Okay. When the club captains 
hate their teams, team members, or maybe their players. I, we can be in the, in the one team. Wow, I'll hate you, and I'll not vote for you. I'm going to vote for a Barcelona player. It, it happens. It's, a, it's, a, it's an opinion rated something, so it's understandable. Yeah, yes. If you don't want to vote for your, your your team player, it's understandable. It doesn't make sense. The pl- but we all know the whole world. We all know that this player is better than this player. But what, what for that season? That that season, that player was better than. So why don't you give it to him? But but what what if your 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 team player is not as good as you think? What if your 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 own player? When we say um, um, Kelvin Devine plays better than Modric, that's why I'm saying the voting is too much. Well, okay. So on to more controversial Ballon d'Or news. Alfonso Davis. This be the message he take give Jamal Musiala after the whole Copa Trophy wahala. He say they may they may have denied you of your Copa Trophy, but they won't deny you of your future Ballon d'Or yes. Golden Boy. Yes. So it it rate Jamal Musiala say in the next nearest future. He will no, win Ballon. Maybe no, this player with Chelsea they follow him like that. Jamal Musiala. Yeah. It be Chelsea Academy product. Aha. Uh-huh. Where one, some, one some, some, some some controversy come we say they leave Chelsea. Mm-hmm. So they leave Chelsea go buy him. So that be what Alfonso Davis to the top. Yeah, we so are, you see say the players are beginning to get angry. They feel say over the over the years some things don't really go right. You see, somebody deserve Ballon d'Or then they give somebody. Somebody they, they feel say this year being year to make and before you go go the ceremony, then they take give somebody else. But you see, it, it 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 is voting, it is voting, and it is captains, journalists. Sometimes you, know, you might think say your player is good, but outside world or probably beyond what you see, people are also watching others. That is why I, I mentioned earlier that the Ballon d'Or is flawed because if we should put stats in play, then you will understand. If we should put the numbers in play, you understand why people are angry over this year. You see, over the years, Ballon d'Or has always con- uh, created controversies. controversies. But this particular one, it, people it's are more angry. More. Yeah, because stats have come in play. How many goals did he have? How many assists did he have? How many trophies did the team even win? Yeah. You understand? Yeah, very true. Very, very true. So this is where the, the controversies are coming from. So it's understandable. But I, I, I feel that as a young player, you have to watch some of your old transfers. Very true, because... Because you, you, are, you are growing. You are making enemies as you grow. Yeah. Regardless of your standpoint, regardless of how you feel, yeah. say, then treat your fellow player. You are a young player, Alfonso Davis. This is not what you should be treating about. Yeah. I, I, I feel like he got the whole tweet wrong. wrong. And, and I also feel sometimes it's emotions. When emotions yeah. set in, yeah. sometimes you say yeah. things you are not supposed to say. Yeah, yeah but like, then if you are emotional, drop your phone. <laughs> Yeah. That that's why some of these players have that social media, media managers. managers. That, 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 yes. That's why they mostly they have counselors who who actually yeah. have, who work on their yeah. So so on to on to maybe, on to, maybe in the sick you need to know. On to on to, on to, on to, great, on to, on to great news, on to big news. Karim Benzema, fantastic striker. Yeah. Karim Benzema. Over the weekend then he be away the the, the, the the people feel say he deserved yeah. me personally me too I feel say he deserve him. And and bro like if they don't take it from me myself, I'll go there. And and and, and everybody. Uh, how much how much do they take it? So <laughs> yeah. strictly by invitation. And and, and 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 everybody thinks Benzema deserves even Messi, you know, was of, of, of the opinion, Lewandowski was of the opinion. Even a lot of you know players felt Benzema deserved it. And you know his contribution, the last minute goals. Like the unexpected even, goals. Even, even, Charlie even, Delco plus Chelsea. Divi, uh, Zidane, Zidane even went on to say he thinks Benzema is the best yes. ever sh- France striker. Fr- striker, yes. Like you know, he's underrated. You see, the bars was not like you see some people, you know, uh, you know, people give them the preacher, this guy there, but he's like and you know, he's a team player. He Benzema we know is a team player. See, there are certain, there are certain chances he, he could have scored, but would pass and, you know, for, for another person to score. So, like, he's loved by... by, by, I, I, by feel say, I feel say Benzema, yeah. Benzema understand. If, if you watch this picture better, watch Benzema in hand. Mm-hmm. That be what he creates the bars right now. Watch Benzema in last finger. Mm-hmm. The finger be broken. Yes. It be broken since 2019 oh. against Real Betis. But Benzema, no one sit out and go straight in because it will probably take surgery to fix the hand. 
But Zima feels say if he sit down safe, Real Madrid go suffer without him. Yes. So this be player where I feel say he put himself on the line after Ronaldo left. That not the mean say as Ronaldo the Benzema in contribution be less. But after Ronaldo left, he has decided to carry the team, team on his back, yeah. match after match, game after game. When you least expected, you hear Benzema, then it a go. And I feel this year, and he had he had actually worked so hard, and he deserves it. And you could see, say, um, there, there was a picture where you know he was clapping for. You know when Ronaldo, Ronaldo yeah, when Ronaldo, yes, you know, yes. and we say Charlie, sometimes when it is not your turn, you, you need, need to, to relax, relax, and work patience. hard. Patience. Right, so, right now, see, like everybody, you know, knew Benzema would win because he had worked hard over the years, and he, he truly deserved it. That's, I think he's thirty-four. Yeah, the, the second oldest to win mm -hmm. the Ballon d'Or, and whoa, that's good. Okay, so uh, onto some very bright, onto some very bright news too. One brother, one African brother, Sadio Mane, Sadio Mane, Sadio Mane, the second best player in the world. I think this is the highest rank an African player has ever reached after George Weah. Bro, how many minutes you go give me a talk about this guy? You just have 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. You just Charlie, have 30 seconds. Charlie, Liverpool, Liverpool, what's up? What's up? How you, much? How much? How much? Yeah, we are paying Chelsea are paying a bench player almost five hundred. Me, but me personally, I feel like Sadio Mane. Then he need new challenge. That's why yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Bro, when you, because when he's won everything. You you won, but when your team are in crisis, you don't try to to leave. I, I no, 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 no. I'm not talking uh, about uh, Sadio Mane. Oh, okay. I'm talking about the team. When your team are in crisis, please. Focus on how to maintain that the players place before you get another one. I think you have 30 seconds. Yeah, so I feel um, so uh, Sadio Mane has been an, an, an exceptional player and on the 91 Secret Awards and awards we stand for, you know, a player who gives back to society. We've known Sadio Mane to be somebody it's who a cheerful are, giver who are, who are giving a lot to. His, his people, building hospitals, building schools, making sure people are being paid allowances and also giving them opportunities. And I think he deserves it. He, he, and I think it is the first of its kind yeah. in, 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 in the Ballon d'Or's you know, category. Yeah. So he is the first African, or he's the first ever player to win the Socrates Awards. And he, we, we know him, like we, we know him on the pitch, but off the pitch, the contribution he had had onto the lives of his people is so massive best, best. so i think best. he's one of the best we, we, we would have hello, hello. Well, I, I feel safe say we for just clap for him he really yes. make we proud wow. yes yes because yes. on the night you know due to some small you know sadio man it be really 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 it, it, it be some player be very humble very humble it be, it be one of the players we come out we come talk say if feel say personally benzema deserved that award more safe yes and I don't know how many people you and them go their competition inside and mm. go tell you say if you say that I don't want to deserve yes. one better pass I'm safe. It'll be one very humble guy. Or oh, onto some very light and very funny news. Raja Niagolan. Raja Niagolan. I don't know say when I when I when I really they remember Niagolan in general. Niagolan is some player way from Cagliari, Roma, Cagliari, Inter, then teams they really fight over him. Raja Niagolan, now he day in hometown. I feel say that be the best way forward for every player. If you come of age and you feel like you are nearing that retirement age, you should go back to your country and make their league worth watching. So as Niagolan they left go in Antwerp, I feel say be the step in the right direction. Me self I applaud them. I say, oh no, if not for anything at all, you go make the Belgium uh, uh, league, league matches. You understand because with all this experience from Europe. Even some player with at a point in time, teams like PSG, Chelsea, Barcelona, even Real Madrid self go fight over him. More of the top, top, top clubs in Europe. This is Niagoland. During match versus Standard Liège, a match you were losing 3 0. You they bench against Standard Liège, then you they smoke. You they bench, player you they bench as much they go on, then you they smoke. So I'm hearing news that he's been suspended indefinitely from the team. 
And this will cost you a lot of money too. Exactly. 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 You dare bench. You know, they say much in the go on. You dare bench during a football match, then you just smoke. What be your take, Barry Chadu? Smoking be something, some habit be way, Charlie. It be hardly say if you advise someone, say make you stop her, you go listen and stop. Okay. It be very, very hard. Very, very hard. So but you are professional. Go, oh, this guy will fit you smoke over in, in professional. In career. You, know, you see, you are professional. I feel say in that aspect, at least it's just a 90 minute game. 90 minutes. Wait. You can, you can do that. After 90 minutes, find your cool corner, light it up, and do your thing. I'm saying that you go fit choose smoking over in career. So so you, you, this be, this be one of the reasons why I feel say the home teams you know they like take back the players who are coming from, from Europe. Europe. Because they, they feel like you've, you've seen it all oh. already. And you come in. This is very disrespectful. Yeah, and the arrogance alone. It'd be very, very disrespectful. Say you dare bench. Then you they do this. I mean, imagine there are kids watching this. There are families watching this. There are even chain smokers who, who look up to you yeah. as a star player. Yeah. You understand? And there has to be sanctions in play. Nobody is stopping you from smoking. If you're a chain smoker, I feel that 90 minutes is it worth is waiting for. Yeah. You understand? Brandon, what be your take on this? Yeah. Well, well, I feel um, you see, he's a legend. Looking at you know the career path he had taken and you know him being back into uh, the Be the Belgian league you know speaks a lot and a lot of players will be looking up to him as and um, you know as to his pedigree and this is your hometown team exactly team. Antwerp is your place of birth exactly so the influence is is so much so you having like you doing this tells a lot and I think it's actually a right step for the team to to, to suspend him because. Um, you know, people have invested their resources into the team. And if a player is misbehaving, it's, it's, it's actually a right thing to suspend him, regardless of who he is. And it will also serve as a deterrent for others to also follow. So I feel that the, the team is in the right step. And moving forward, it should, you know, it should serve as a lesson to other players. No matter where you've been, no matter who you are, or, or no matter what your condition is, you should know where to do what at the right time. You understand? I, 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 I don't know what is wrong with this player because if you play away a day on a the rise, then as a day at the age of 26, 27, teams they chase him. The clubs they, they really, really, really die over him. So, how the career just went from just up like that and drop, and drop down, it's, it's, it should be a case study. Yeah. Then you should know, you should know the the, how smoke day, smoking day. But, and, and sometimes it is the attitude. But we've seen a lot of players. Which, which have had bad attitude, and even Kelvin Prince Barton is, is, is one of them. Kelvin, Kelvin Prince Barton, during his Tottenham days, you know how you know he was one of the best, but the attitude and the mentality, you know, going into the game, you know, made things got worse for him. That is what this guy is also portraying. You get it? So the attitude and mentality players would have towards a game would, would actually show or tell the team the caliber of person he, he is. And you know, these teams are being sponsored. Who knows? Maybe um, it, it's being sponsored by an Ar Arabian team. And you know, these Arabs they don't like these things. You get it. So I feel um, attitude of players. Okay. You know, in on and off the pitch, should, they should be very careful because it could have a very vast influence in their career and also the, the people they tend to you know motivate because a lot of people might be look most of like course, I, I i was very disappointed because i i was of the opinion okay he's a he's a, a role model to this young one yeah. and and if not for anything at all antwerp is your place of birth this is your hometown take for kyle Laula. mostly mostly when the players go abroad and play all their careers and they come back home to play to their local leagues they, they disrespect their local leagues, mm. especially ghana yeah, especially Ghana. Know. When you when you watch our foreign players who are playing for these other clubs, yeah. not to mention their names, you see that they are not playing anything. I don't know. They, 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 feel, they, they only, feel too big. I'm sure they only came to play because of... They are, they are keeping they fit. To, no, they want to attract fans to come to the stadium. Apart from that, 
there's yeah most of the time i think that's the contract they sign here i will bring supporters in yeah if you let me play there will be supporters and meanwhile they are keeping fit and expecting clubs from china and arab to come for them so it makes a lot of sense i i i i i really i really understand the fact that some of them will come home not because they want to come and boost the game in any way just to come and stay fit and expect other clubs to come for them because yeah, uh, if, yeah even yeah, at yeah. 35 36 30, a player is still a player yeah. for this some of these teams across the uh, the, yeah. the asian yeah. of course yeah, the yeah arabian continent these players are still players for them yeah. these are players that have made their mark oh just just watch they go faster where did he go yeah. back to his home of course the moment he had a contract in abroad he left yeah. the game so you are disrespecting the club it doesn't matter maybe you have an agreement with the club but actually you are disrespecting the club and then the fans yeah. you understand so these are some of the things Charlie, our players i don't know it makes a lot of sense so on, on to another brighter news fifa world cup qatar in november will be here right here in studio Sue view sports we'll be updating you we'll be sharing every single information who scored who had a yellow card who was the best player who would have you every single time make one and don't forget say studio to view be the name on youtube facebook twitter instagram on every single platform you go find yourself studio to view we did there make one keep the support we make you subscribe and continue the boost we because it because of you where we they get this kind of view and this kind of vim they come to you every make i just thank my panelists for today brand chado massive 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 insight yeah, Mr. Nath, i really really do appreciate yeah. you all passing through i'll be at all you people say as you two, you see these two gentlemen for here they mean say it be firework i never lie you see say we update you then you think say it be joke with the camera no 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 if it's so it will continue to give to you every time stay good with us and continue to stay blessed thank you for watching once again <laughs>